Well, I done gone and got me another 576. I don't know if this was a good move. I have mixed feelings with this saw. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with 576s. But I have a ton of 576 parts. Uh, anybody that goes back in my channel or has watched for a while, I used to run a 576, bought it off my buddy, ran it for a bit, but I ended up having major carburation issues. And then I got the carb fixed and it ran perfect and then it blew up. And I was kind of soured and I boxed it up. These are extra parts. I have my saw in a box. I boxed it up and to never look at it again but then I started thinking how much I liked it and how smooth it was and how fast it cut and just been thinking about rebuilding it for the last year. I blew it up about this time last year but bearings and parts for these are not cheap so it just keeps getting pushed back and pushed back. I have so many good running ported saws here that it's like am I going to drop a bunch of money on a saw that I blew up? <laughs> so today I did a little horse trading. I had a couple of nice 200 series huskies that my buddy really wanted. Uh, we were going to trade one for this and then I just threw him both. He's a good buddy and he really wanted those saws. So he always looks after me, so I'm going to look after him. So we have a 2012, 2012 576 XPG. Uh, G is for generator. There's the half wrap. Uh, it's got a full wrap on it right now. So this, this saw has heated grips, which if you're Canadian like I am, you like the heated grips. They are, if you've never owned a saw with heated grips and you live somewhere where it's cold, let me tell you, it's, it's a nice feature. Um, just got to unclip this. Just want to show you under the hood of this saw. So my buddy built like six of these or five of them, I, I'm not even sure. The last one he built was mine. I blew it up. He felt terrible, but I'm like, that's saws. Saws blow up sometimes. Well, he ran this for a little bit, and he really doesn't like it. It's too heavy. But he says it's smooth and it's fast, and I tend to agree with him. This is like, the, I'd say this is the fastest 70cc saw stock I've ever run. Um, maybe it's just the way it feels. I've never timed one in the cut. But now I have one to time. Like maybe I'll run this against a ported 266 or a ported 044 and say how fast is this thing really. Brand new OEM cylinder piston. I mean he went all through this thing. Anything that was no good. Sorry about my finger there. I do not have a cover on this new phone and I got big hands and I find these new phones to be a little hard to hold. Yeah, he went over this saw one end to the other and built it for him and ended up, it's too heavy. He's just not, he's not grooving on this chassis of saw. That's okay, but he, he enjoys running it. So we ran this thing a couple months ago at the wood pile and... I was like, man, what are you doing with your 576? And he's like, I don't know. I thought maybe I'd throw it your way. So long story short, I got this saw today. Kind of excited, but I'm kind of apprehensive. My last 576 was the worst saw I've ever owned for finicky issues. But it was also the nicest saw to spend a day with because it's smooth as silk like my 562. And man, does that thing pull a bar. So, can't judge a whole chassis by one saw. And the fact that there's that many of these in this bin doesn't scare me at all because these were government saws and they were run with dull chains. You could tell by, I mean, these things were absolutely abused. So, I want to know. So, here I go back down the rabbit hole and what actually spurred this is uh 
I believe it's Craig Timmons. Uh, I subbed to his channel. Uh, he built a 575 last week and he fired that saw up and I thought, I need a 576 again. So, <laughs> anyhow, another saw to play with, which is always fun. Uh, I'm going to run this on the channel and it'll either blow up or it'll be awesome. Only time will tell. Not sure what I'm going to do with this. I mean, I do like to port my saws. But I think I'm just going to run this for now and and see what's what with it. Um, and then figure out what to do with this stuff. I think I know what I'm going to do with this. But uh, when that happens, we'll do a video on it. I don't need... I mean... I could save one set of crankcases and my one spare, I got many spare cranks, like I can save a parts kit to keep this running, but I don't need to hoard all of this stuff, so I think I have an idea of where these are going, and uh, somebody else can enjoy them. Anyhow, as always, thanks for watching, take her easy.